Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Matas this. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the One Company Friendball. This is the latest in the lineup of premium Dicos Pokeballs, so without further ado, we do, let's get it. Alright, guys, so the newest edition of the One Company Pokeballs are here with the Friendball. Here's the front of the box. Here's the side which shows the electronic display case. And here's the display case with the Pokeball displayed inside. Here is the back, the friend ball, electronic replica, display grade electronic replica, highly accurate, metal shell with fine detail, premium painted finish, advanced touch and proximity sensing technology, gorgeous lift the display presentation case with touch sensing illumination, individually numbered with batteries included. So let's crack this thing open. If I can get it open without damaging the box, come on. Why is it so tough? Oh, bloody hell, this one is jammed in there. There we go. So, the first thing you're greeted with is the manual, which we don't need. So, let's chop that aside. Some styrofoam. There you go, here's the content. So, let's start with the display case, I guess. So this is your electronic display case. On the front you got a plaque with the friend ball. At the bottom that's where your individual number is. Remove this tab to release the battery. And it should show LEDs. There you go. You got white. Tap the plaque. Equals red. Tap it again. Green. Yellow. Blue. Purple, pink, magenta. And then light blue or cyan. And it should go back to white. There you go. That's your display case. Let's leave on the circle now. And. Here is your friend ball. Oh, this this is quite nice. It's got a green with a little um, raised. I don't know what these are called, but you know the raised little accents on the top of the pokeball. And then you remove the tab. That's to release the battery. And then if you hold the button for like a second or two, it should light up. Just say that it's turned on. Yep, there you go. And there's proximity sensing. So there you go. I don't know that it's like it's it's a bit iffy sometimes. And then the closer you bring it, there you go. And then if you click on it, it's either gonna turn red or it's gonna turn green. Red if you don't catch a Pokemon. Green if you do. So there's a green. Hopefully you can see it on the camera. Alright, let's try for red. Each time I do a bloody unboxing of these, it never works the way I want it to. If only it just did a 50. There we go, there's a red. There's your red. Alright. There's a Pokeball. For the next part, you're going to need a screwdriver. To unlock the display ring. To display the Pokeball outside of the case. And there are your batteries and then this is your display ring you're going to need a screwdriver to prop it out there you go and with the display ring out i can show you the proximity of the pokeballs proximity lighting so right now it's off the closer you get the more it's supposed to light up. Hopefully that shows up good on camera. There you go.
unless the proximity sensing light on the pokeball. So I'll probably show you these in B-roll, but you can display the pokeball in a display case like so. Or you can display it outside of the case like so. So in terms of the display case, could be made a little bit better, which might increase the cost of actually producing these, which will obviously increase the cost of the actual item itself. But these are quite flimsy, especially when you open them, it's like, you'll probably see on camera, it's quite flimsy. It's made of plastic. Is there, yeah, it's made of full on plastic. Would be nice if it was made out of metal, but that might even raise the cost or some form of better, you know, material instead of plastic. But because of the obviously the RGB in the lights, that probably raises the cost a lot as it, as it is as well. So just to keep the cost down, I guess they kind of went cheaper side on the display case, but. With the Pokeball on the other hand, this thing is hefty. I mean, I don't know how I can portray that in the video, but this thing is quite a hefty thing. You don't want to throw it at someone or, an, or throw it at all, to be honest, because if you throw it, you're going to hurt someone, more than likely. Hurt someone or something, break something. But this is a pure metal heavy Pokeball. Premium feel to it. I mean, I don't know if it's just proximity lighting in itself or if it's just how these Pokeballs are made, but the proximity and the lighting of the Pokeball can be better. You can see it now as I'm holding it. Sometimes the light dims and then while I'm holding it, which it probably shouldn't. But yeah, guys, that is the one company friendship ball. In their current lineup of Pokeballs now, they have a Pokeball, a Great Ball, an Ultra Ball, a Premier Ball, a Dusk Ball, a Hill Ball, a Master Ball, or two sets of Master Balls, there's the UK Limited Edition one and the US Limited Edition one. With the UK one is more of a special edition, the US one is a limited edition. And now, the Friendship, or the Friend Ball. I believe this year, they should be releasing the Cherish Ball and the Quick Ball. So if you want to see the Quick Ball and the Cherish Ball unboxed, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like on the video, subscribe, Turn notifications on so when those release I'll unbox them as soon as I can but here guys that is the one company friend ball I am looking forward to the rest of the releases which is the quick ball and the cherish ball but if you enjoyed the unboxing if you liked what you saw I'd appreciate if you could leave a like subscribe turn notifications on for more and I'll see you on the next one peace